Hi guys, it's the Power BI guy here and today we're going to cover visual interactions in Power BI and how we go about editing the interactions between visuals in our reports. Now before we get started, let me demonstrate what I mean by visual interactions. So if we take a look at cells by segment, if I click a portion of the donut chart, we can see that our visuals are changing based on the selection that we've made. So let's take a look at cells by region. This is what we refer to as a highlight. When you select a portion, it's highlighting that sales data against our total cells in the chart. Now if we come below that, we can see that our pie chart has completely changed and it's showing us the data for the consumer segment and not showing us the data for corporate and home office. We can change that to be a highlight. However, for the sake of uh, this visualization, I believe this is better shown as a filter. So how do we go about actually editing the interactions between visuals uh, in Power BI? So first things first, let me reset this so we can uh, demonstrate this better. I'm just going to reset I've reset the interactions between our visuals. So if I go ahead and click consumer, we can see that the base stock version of the interaction is everything is going to be cross highlighted in our report. Now, if we want to change this, what we have to do is select the visual that you want to uh, edit your interactions with and then come to the format tab and then we click edit interactions. Now, if we take a look at our report, all our visuals have these little icons above, above them. Now we can see one says highlight and the other one says filter. And then we have sort of a stop sign, which says none. What that means is that if we click, let's say any portion of sales by segment, this visual will not change and it will show us the total sales. Now for this report, what I want to do is for our pie chart, I don't want this to be a cross highlight. I want it to change the data so we can just see the uh, pie chart data for consumer. So what I'm going to do is click filter for this and for the sales by region, I like this as a highlight uh, for our sales versus previous year. I'm going to make this a, a filter uh, so that it changes based on our selection and I'm happy with that. So if we leave edit interactions, what we can see is that if I select a home office our pie chart is going to change completely and filter down and then our cells by region this is going to be a highlight to see the segment cells against our total cells and our chart over here is filtering once again now it's worth noting if we want to change interactions for let's say how uh, if we click one of these how the other visuals interact we need to go back to the format uh, tab edit interactions and then change it based on um, what we're trying to achieve so every visual you have to change the interaction interactions for with the other visuals. So over here, I'm going to make this a filter. Let's leave this as a highlight. And over here, I want this as a filter once again. And then for this sales by month and year, I want it to have no interaction. So let's leave this. And then if I click, let's say October, we can see that our visuals are changing based on what I'm trying to achieve. So I hope this video taught you something about visual interactions in our report. It's a very basic feature. However, I think this is sometimes overlooked when it comes to um, of displaying your data and it really just depends on what you're trying to do so it's the power bi guy here and i'm checking out